So we pass to the to the last part of the complexation reaction, which is the titration by complexation. To remember that the complexation is the reaction between a metallic ion M plus ligand L that can be monodentate or polydentate to form the complex ML. As the KF of ML increase, that means the complex ML is more stable, so the reaction M plus L that give ML is favored in the direction of formation of the complex. In some cases, when we add a ligand to metallic center M, we obtain several complexes. We called, we noted successive complexes, ML, ML2, ML3, ML4, ML5. It depends on the data given. The most important point is that the domain of predominance of species in the complexation reaction depends on the concentration of the ligand in the solution or depends on the concentration of the metallic center in the solution. So we constructed a ladder diagram according to the PL function, so according to the concentration of L in solution, or according to PM, the concentration of M in the solution. We compared also the complexation reaction to the acid base. In the acid, the donor is the acid. In the complex, the donor is ML. ML is donor of complex M, or ML is donor of the ligand L. It depends on the type of the exercise. We pass now to the titration curve by complexation. What is the meaning of titration? Titration is the use of a solution of known concentration to calculate the solution of unknown. In the acid base, we have acid HA, where supposing the solution is of, is of unknown concentration. So what to do in order to know the concentration of the acid HA? We add another substance, which is OH minus, of known concentration. According to the quantity of OH minus added, we can deduce the quantity of HA present and therefore the concentration of this acid. The conditions of the titration are the reaction should be complete, the reaction should be fast, the reaction should be unique. So can we use the complexation in order to know, for example, the concentration of the metallic center, yes. What to do? Suppose we want to calculate the concentration of a metallic center, for example, Fe3+. We put this solution in the beaker. From, from the burette, so I put, I put M in the beaker, and from the buret, I add L. L is of known concentration, and M is unknown. So the first question, what would happen between M and L? M, which is a metallic center, will react with L to give a complex ML. And if Kf of ML is very high, that means the reaction is practically complete in the direction of formation of ML. So this reaction 
is complete. This is the condition one. The condition two, we should have fast complexation and the condition three, no secondary reaction. So the reaction is unique. Okay. M is supposing, for example, colorless. L also is colorless. So how to detect the equivalence point? When we add L, which is colorless, to the M colorless, it will form ML. It will form ML. In some cases, ML has a color. So we work on the change of the color in order to detect the equivalence point. Or as in the acid-base titration, we can add, we can add indicator. And the indicator in the complexation play the same role as the indicator in the acid base, okay, or the indicator in the electrochemistry in order to detect the equivalence point. So we have the same titration, the same type of titration of donor by acceptor. So the objective in the acid base, the objective is to draw, to plot the variation pH as a function of the volume added. In the complexation, the objective is to draw PM as a function of the volume added or is to draw PL as a function of the volume added. Why PM uh, function V or PL function V? It depends on the exercise. Do not forget that the addition of L to M will do a reaction. So the concentration of the M will be changed. L will be consumed at the beginning completely. So we'll have traces in the medium. So as we add L to M, we have a certain concentration of M in the solution and a certain concentration of L in the solution. So we can draw PM function of the volume or PL is a function of the volume. It depends on the exercise. In some exercises, they ask to calculate to draw PM equal FV. In other exercise, we draw PL equal FV. The titration can be used to determine the concentration of metal in a sample or the concentration of the ligand in a sample. Sometimes we, we put uh, in the acid base, in general, we put the unknown in the beaker and the known in the burette. Suppose the acid is unknown, so the acid in the beaker, the base in the burette, or the base is unknown, the base in the beaker or the acid in the burette. So in the acid-base titration, we can know the concentration of the acid or the concentration of the base. The titration can be used also to determine the stability constant of the metal. So to determine Kf or Kd in the acid base from the titration curve at the half equivalence point in the titration of weak acid by strong base at Ve over 2 at the half equivalence point, we deduce that the pH is equal to pKa of the couple HAA minus, so we deduce Ka of the couple experimentally. By the same way, we can deduce Kf or Kd. How to detect the equivalence point? The equivalence point can be detected by adding indicator or in some example the color is inner in the reaction suppose you titrate fe2 plus by scn minus that give fe scn Fe surplus by SCN minus Fe. We said that this is a red 
blood complex. So the complex itself is colored. In general, practically all complexes are colored. This is important characteristic of the uh, complex. In other examples, we have complexes of unclear color. So we have to use we have to use indicator. Or we use the indicator itself in the solution. It depends. So the indicators used for the complex symmetric titration are ligands that form with the cation a complex MIN, MIN of known color. What is the color? What is the indicator acid base? The indicator acid base is a couple HIN, IN minus, where HIN has a color and IN minus has another color. And the best indicator used is that where pH at equivalence belong to pKa minus one of the couple and pKa plus one of the couple. So what is the complex indicator? Uh, what is the nature of the indicator used in the complexation? In the complexation, the indicator is a ligand that form with M a complex MIN of known color. For example, suppose in the beaker I have M, I titrate M by ligand M. So what to do is to add I N minus. So we obtain MIN of color one and we add the ligand. As we add the ligand, MIN dissociate to ML. So the color one the intensity of the color one will decrease since MIN decrease. Pay attention when you add MIN plus L, you form ML. ML has another color. So MIN decrease. So the color one, the intensity of the color one will decrease. As we add L, MIN decrease till the disappearance of MIN, so we would not observe color one. At this point, at the change of the color from color one to color two, we can detect the equivalence point and therefore to calculate the MIN, which is the same as M. Do not forget that one M form one MIN. So M plus IN give MIN, and this is the color two. So the indicator is a complex MIN. IN is a couple MIN, IN, or is a couple MIN, M. So this is the same as the couple MLL. And we know that PL for a couple PM for a couple is equal to PKD of the couple plus log L divided the ML. So we can write PM equal PKD plus log IN divided by MIN. Domain of predominance of IN and MIN is the same as domain of predominance of ML and L. If IN greater 10 times MIN, so IN is a predominant, or if MIN is greater, for example, 10 times IN, so MIN is predominant. This is the same meaning of the couple MLL or MLM. So if PM is less than PKD of the couple minus one, the color of MIN predominate, or if PM is greater than PKD of the couple plus one, the color of IN predominate. So the best indicator is 
one pm belong to the domain pkd minus one and pkd plus one in the acid base the best indicator is that where ph at equivalence this is pm at b equivalence where pH at equivalence belong to pKa minus one and pKa plus one. So the best indicator in the complexation is when PM at equivalence belong to pKd minus one and pKd plus one. This is the same analogy of the acid base. We pass to the titration curve to remember that we have a metallic center in the beaker from the buret we add l so m plus l give ml the concentration of m is variable decrease and the concentration of l is also variable in the medium. So we can write PM as a function of the volume added or PL as the function of the volume added and depends on the type of the exercise. In this exercise, they ask to draw PM as a function of the volume added. So the first question, what would happen when L is added to M? When L is added to M, we have the formation of the complex ML. So the concentration of M will decrease. M will decrease implies log M will decrease implies minus log M will increase so the pm will increase and this is the case so what is the objective the objective in the acid base you have titration of ha they ask to calculate the concentration of the unknown ha this is the objective one objective two is to find ka of the couple ha a minus from the curves and this is found at VE over 2 at the half equivalence or they can ask calculate the concentration of all species in the solution when for example a certain volume of the base is added the same analogy in the complex in the complexation we draw in this exercise we draw PM as a function of the volume so the objective is to calculate the concentration of the unknown M. The second objective is to calculate PKD or PKF of the complex MLL or MLF, MLL or MLM. This is the same, comp the same couple. So we have to calculate KD or KF experimentally. And the third objective, we add a certain amount of L to the initial beaker containing M, calculate the concentration of all species present. So the characteristic point is in the acid base four points. The initial point, the half equivalence, the equivalence, after equivalence. In the complexation, we have also four characteristic points. At T equals zero before the addition of L, at the half equivalence, when we add L in a certain amount to convert the half of the M, at equivalence, when the quantity of L added disappear completely M, after equivalence, where the ligand added is in excess. So this is the objective of the titration by complexation. So the objective is to know the concentration of M in a beaker 
Calculating a complexometric titration curve is very similar to the titration, to the calculation of a titration curve of strong acid by strong base or acid by base. That calculation is done in five steps. is to calculate PM and PL before the addition of the complexing agent. So before addition of the ligand, is to calculate PM or PL. It depends on the question of the exercise is to calculate PM or PL before the equivalence, is to calculate PL or PM at half equivalence, is to calculate PM or PL between the half equivalence and the equivalence, is to calculate PM or PL after the equivalence point. 